Everyone creates their own demons. They could be anxiety, depression, paranoia, anything really. We try our best to avoid these demons. Some of us ignore our demons with different kinds of things like art, reading, writing, music, sleep, whatever will distract us the longest. But these demons always have a way of crawling their way back into our lives. They take that pencil or paintbrush out of your hand and create you a portrait of all your insecurities. They'll burn the pages of your book or journal so they can watch you cry as you watch all the emotions poured into words float away into embers. They'll rip your headphones off so you listen to them mock you about your differences. And they'll hog the sheets when you're trying to sleep, so you're forced to stay up all night overthinking everything. Your demons make it their job to make you miserable, so you make it your job to contain that misery. You let it build and build inside you. Until you can't hide it anymore, you begin to transform. Times will come in your life that challenge you. Many of us are faced with failures or conflicts. But because of your demons, you can't face those challenges. Instead, you transform more into your own demon and lose yourself. You lose so much of yourself, you forget who you are. Who you were. But times come that make you find yourself again. You could find a new passion or make new friends. These new times will help you remember who you once were. And make you want to be that person again. And a stronger version of that person that you see through the mirror every day. So you wash away the pain and awake a newer and stronger person. No longer a demon. No longer a person struggling alone with their demons. But a person. We will always have demons within us, but it is in our ability to control them. You control your own self. <laughs>